Hello and welcome. My name is Pat and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I want to show you guys a couple things I picked up at Goodwill over the weekend. First up, these games I actually listed on Saturday and they sold on Sunday. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee for Nintendo GameCube. Sold this for $40 with free shipping. The disc had some scratches, but what I like to do when I'm selling video games is take a picture of the, uh, the home screen of the game. Add it to the description so lets people the, to the listing photos so lets people know that the game actually does work. And next up is this Mario Superstar Baseball. This disc was kind of scratched too. The case is a little beat up. I put it up for 18 bucks and it sold fairly quick. Next up is this Wii. It's the GameCube compatible one. I actually tested those games in here. I already have a Wii and some Nintendo... Uh, some GameCube controllers, so I plugged it in tested it. It works fine. The games work I uh, should get about 25 to 30 bucks for this shipped but next up. I found these Nike high top These are in great condition. I paid 10 bucks for these They're smaller size seven and a half But comps for this style with this like tweed were anywhere from like 60 to 120 or something like that But none in this size which is seven and a half So I'm probably gonna ask between 70 and 75 bucks, maybe 80 bucks with best offer and if you're unsure of the style of Nike you have type in this number in the search bar and it'll give you all the information on the exact shoe that you have and that's what I did with these I don't really know a lot about Nikes and shoes but I thought they might have been worth something just because they were in great condition and the tweed is something different that I haven't seen I often pass these up when I see these these are little digital point-and-shoot cameras but I passed by and I've actually sold one of these before so it caught my eye and I knew what it was Canon SX 700 HS point-and-shoot uh, these cameras sell for between 80 and 100 bucks used. I picked both of these up for $15 each. So this one was 10 and this one was 50, or 20 because it came with this case. So I was asking the Goodwill employee, like, why just because it's in this case, it's double the price that this one was? And they couldn't really give me a straight answer. I think just because it was red and in this case, they thought it was 20 bucks. Between the two, I've got $15 in each. I should get anywhere between 75 and 100 They both turn on. I don't have the charger. I was happy that they turned on so I can at least test them. To, see, to show that they work. Hopefully the battery won't die by the time I get to listing them. And always check the memory card slot. Like I found this 32 gig in the red camera. Um, this one in particular isn't worth a whole lot, but sometimes I have, I have found one that was probably 30 or 40 bucks new. So I end up holding on to that. But this one I'll add with this as a listing as a bundle. So it makes it look a little bit more attractive. Next for clothing, this one kind of hit close to home being a skateboarder is this S Skateboards jacket. I saw the, the logo on the front here. Now I don't really find these often. I actually have one other one for sale for 40 or 45 bucks. This one's in way better condition. I'll probably ask anywhere between 40 and 50. And then last up is this vintage 1990s Marlins pinstripe jersey. Front and back there, there's this tag. I only saw one other sold comp for this for 34 bucks plus shipping, so I'm probably gonna ask about the same. And the rest of the shirts that I picked up are just bread and butter items for me. I mean, I picked up probably another 35 shirts, but some of those are like this ex officio insect shield button front shirt. I'll probably get between 15 and 16 bucks for this. Uh, these t-shirts were only a buck on sale. So it's RVCA. I get between 12 and 15. And then there's some Ralph Lauren shirts that I usually get about the same. And here's another, oh, here's, an, here's a Dolphins T, old logo, probably another 15 bucks. Uh, Tommy Bahama. The same with these, 12, 15, 18 bucks. It really all depends on the style and the um, fabric type. Like this one here is another Tommy Bahama. It's 100% linen, so I might get a little bit more. It's funny, linen shirts sometimes do well and sometimes they don't do well. It really all depends on also the style of the shirt. Like this one's got a, like a subtle blue plaid. And this one was pretty cool. It's a Columbia, Texas Longhorn shirt. I probably should get between 15 and 20 for this as well. But that's pretty much like the bulk of all the shirts and all these shirts, the t-shirts I only pay a dollar for and the long sleeve shirts are $3 on sale for me. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button and keep an eye out for any of these items when you're outsourcing. And until the next one.